Positively Jack. A local group is cheering up children with cancer by giving them a Lego set after a major doctor's visit or a milestone in their treatments. And that's not all. To explain, Mariah Barnes with V for Victory is here, as well as our good friend Josh Ribeiro, a 15-year-old leukemia survivor, and yes, I say survivor, who has been on the show several times. Josh, everybody wants an update from you, but let's start with Mariah because we got to outline what V for Victory does. A lot of people see that logo. They see the name around the community. It's a local nonprofit, but they don't know exactly the mission. Um, so V for Victory was started in 2017 by a local business owner, and we're really just trying to change the narrative kind of around um, cancer appointments and taking away that fear and anxiety and letting it be something hopeful, which is kind of how Lego started. Um, but every child that comes into the hospital for a cancer treatment to Nemours or Wolfson's will receive a token and when they leave they get to go to the Lego warehouse mm -hmm. and pick any Lego set they want, whether it's $5 or $900 value. Um, but yeah, essentially V for Victory partners local businesses with local families and just kind of helps with those day-to-day -day services that honestly, at the end of the day, you don't want to have to come home and mow your lawn when you've been in the hospital right. for like, 18 hours so right. yeah and we've got some video one of our crews went by and saw that oh, lego awesome. warehouse it was really really cool this isn't just for children this is for no, families v this for is for adults is, as well correct yeah v for victory is for anyone that's going through cancer treatment and that's local to the jacksonville area um, it's non-specific to age it's non-specific to type of diagnosis mm -hmm. and it's just specific to cancer patients mm -hmm filling in those gaps and yeah. bringing the smiles. Josh, my friend, my buddy right here, you've been on the morning show with me several times. Yes. I mean, look at your hair now. I know, <laughs> there I were times when you came hair. on here without hair. Yes. You've been through a lot. Been through a lot these past couple of years, but I'm just glad to be here. Yeah, you're 15, you're a, a great spokesperson. You said you're really busy out in the community. Give I, us an update, how you're doing since so, um, surviving. Just, I've done so good. Everything's been so well. You know, I go to my doctor's visits. We get my chemotherapy, or I'm not getting chemotherapy. We go to my doctor's visits. We take my blood. We check everything, make sure there's no nothing in my blood. Everything's good. All my results have been good. Everything's been so good so far. And I'm finishing up my freshman year of high school this year. And okay. I will have my car by the end of this year. I uh -oh. have my permit. So, you know, life's <laughs> falling into place. Right. So you're doing all those things that you wanted to do. Yes. That is that is really, really cool. So tell me about this program, Working Through V for Victory. What does it mean to you? So what I, V for Victory does is absolutely wonderful. I mean, kids go through cancer and they go and they get chemotherapy in the hospital. And they're in there for God knows how long. And to be able to turn something so negative into something positive by letting kids go and pick out a Lego set after they've gone through chemotherapy and they've been through this really hard time to give them something that they can do to keep their mind off of whether it's a small Lego set that they put together or a Lego set that takes multiple days. Mm -hmm. It's the time that they're spending making those Lego sets is time that their mind is off of the fact that, you know, they're going yeah. through chemotherapy or they have cancer or they have something going on. Mm -hmm. And you know that firsthand. I mean, how long were your treatments, Josh? So it was different. So I had different stages of treatment. So sometimes I would be in the hospital for months or sometimes I'd be in the hospital mm -hmm. for just a week or a couple days. So it's just being able to have a distraction away from something that's so negative and to turn something negative and have a bit of positivity put into it, it, it helps a lot. And I truly believe that it helps those kids. Wonderful, wonderful. So we could talk about this all day, but I wanna talk yeah. about the ways that people can get involved. One of those options is a golf tournament that's right around the corner. Yeah, Monday, it's actually our fifth birthday too. Mm -hmm. Happy so birthday. <laughs> that just kind of coincidence, um, but yeah. So it's at Eagle Harbor. Um, it'll, I think tea time is nine o'clock in the morning or 8.30, um, but anyone, we still have like spots for teams to join. Um, you can do a team of four. And we also have spots for local sponsorships. Mm -hmm. So any business that wants to get involved and kind of help the cause, you, there's still time to sign up. Just go to vforvictory.org and that's where you can get all your information, sign up and reach out to the team at V for Victory. Awesome, and I know that there's other yeah. ways to connect on social media. This is a, oh, a yeah, local definitely. charity, and I, I know that I was looking into it. You do your best to keep the, the administrative spon uh, cost down to a minimum just so that the oh, donations, yeah. the money goes 100% the of the donations actually go right back to helping the families. Wow. And we're able to do that because the owners that kind of started 
V for Victory, before they take a profit of any like business that they have, they pay for the cost of the charity 100%. All so right. it's, it's Wonderful. awesome. Well, yeah. best of luck at the golf tournament. And well, in thank the you. Future. I'm not thank playing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but best of luck putting it on, Mariah. Yeah. And Josh, my man. Super stoked to have you back on, it's so and good to um, back on. Uh, I think I'm excited to see you driving out there on the roads. I'm not sure about that one yet. He dropped a bombshell. Either way, yeah. that's another story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you both coming on. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much.